Hello everybody and welcome back to Zilonka. This is actually going to be the final episode, which might come as a bit of a shock, uh, but I did actually run a vote, and at the time of recording this, 75% of those people who voted, which was over 2,000 people, have said that, yeah, we should finish it now and move on to something new. And I agree, I think the series has been uh, declining in popularity for a while, so I think we're going to go for it. But we're going to have a bit of a grand finale. We have all of our fields ready to harvest, so it's that one there. That one there, that one, and uh, this one here. This is a very big one of sunflowers. So we're going to have at least two combines on the go, and we're going to obviously have the correct header for the um, sunflowers. What am I doing? Control P and then P. There we go. Uh, let's fix that problem. So into uh, harvesters. We are going to be going very big here. Um, I think we'll probably go for the Lexian. Configuration big. Small, yeah, definitely big. Uh, so that's twenty-five thousand pounds, and of course we need the header for that. So we can go with the Capello, which is actually a, a dedicated sunflower header. So we'll go for that as well. Four thousand six hundred ninety-two pounds. And the other fields aren't small, but we won't go for the same combine because that would be pretty dull. Well, it's not a dull combine; it's a nice combine. But yeah, we might as well, as we have the opportunity to use two different ones, we will use two different ones. So, yeah, we'll go with Draper, 45 foot. Yes, I don't want to buy it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, so we have two very expensive combine harvesters here. Never actually seen one of these in real life. A, a dedicated Sunfire header. So that's going to be interesting to use. We may actually need to move the other combine first to be able to get in. I don't know. Um... But we have actually done a lot on this series, despite it only being 25 episodes long. Uh, it's just not as replayable, I found, as the Obelu map. That is just so good. I love that map so much. Um, it's good. But, yeah, it's a bit trickier. To, well, it's, it, it's obviously a lot trickier to uh, to do a long series on, because I did 200 episodes on Obelu. Really, we need a new game. We need FS20. Well, it should be an FS24. Um... But yeah, it looks like it's probably going to be FS25 now. Hopefully next year. Oh crikey, I've blocked all my routes. Yes, it would actually be this year. The new game. If there's going to be a new game, I certainly hope there is. Uh, I think we are overdue now. It used to be every two years, then it was every three. Three just seems too much. Okay, that's quite fast. Wow, nine miles per hour. That's not cheated in any way. That is how it should be as standard and yeah certainly an interesting header type you can probably see into that quite well yeah you can see the uh, the reel going around nice but we are flying I would do a headland a lap of the headland first so that we actually have space for the worker to turn around and then after that we'll get the other combine on the go in the other fields but as it is big 45 foot uh, we are going to hopefully get through them pretty quickly and yeah, we're going to be selling all of the grain, and indeed seeds, today. Because yeah, these are sunflowers, so they have sunflower seeds. So we'll get back to the start, and then we'll sort out a trailer. Yep, so that's given us a bit of space, we've given the worker a bit of space to turn around, because we know how, well, useless the workers can be. Uh, let's just get to the lorry. There it is. We'll leave this trailer here, and we'll go and pick up the tipper trailer, which is currently in the other yard. So, yeah, we can use that for the sunflowers. We do have another trailer, which is just there, which we will probably be using. I think we're going to use both initially, but as soon as the sunflowers are done, we'll be able to just use the big trailer. I think we're going to get quite a lot of sunflowers from that field. It is big. Do we have any grain in storage? Yeah, we've got soybeans. Okay, so the soybeans will have to be sold as well. That is fine. Yes, it's going to be a big episode. Sorry, car. Just pulling out in front of you there. 
And we'll try and chase the combine. It's going to be full any second. Hmm. I don't think we're going to quite make it to unload on the move. But anyway, not to worry. Come on, combine. I'm here. Good. Okay, so whilst it's just doing that, uh, we'll get this one set up. I think we'll probably just tow through that gap there. We'll start with that field, as it is the closest one to us. So, yeah, let's go through here. Oh, <laughs> I think my header trailer got stuck on the kerb. It's quite springy. Although it shouldn't be, that was me probably breaking the axle off. So, um, yeah, we're going to fly through this. I'm not too sure exactly which crops we have. I can tell they're different uh, crops. It looks like we probably have oats in this field, potentially. Maybe wheat in the far field. Uh, let's just confirm this. Yes. Indeed. Indeed, that was a, a good guess, although I probably have remembered subconsciously. Right, what's the other one up to? It's on the move. Okay. Smashing. We'll just move over here. And we will now get back into this combine. And we'll make a good start. In fact, we'll probably be able to do this whole field before we need to intervene again. With the other combine. Well, when I say intervene, I mean go alongside it to unload it. It does help if you unfold these combines too. I think I... Yes, I was doing the header instead. Okay, brilliant. So, there we go. Uh, we probably won't be doing any kind of straw work, so we'll just keep it at this on the chopper. Such a nice machine, nice and big. Let's get this done. I think potentially we do have the opportunity today to make a fairly significant sum of money. It's gonna be a few hundred thousand pounds, hopefully. Okay, yeah, so this one is going to be good for the small trailer, because we can just, I don't know, deal with it, <laughs> take it to the cell point or whatever. Uh, it, it doesn't, it's going to fit nicely into there, so it doesn't need to go into the big trailer. But, is the other combine still moving? It is. 73% full. It's actually going to have the auger on the incorrect side, which is a bit of a pain. Um, I guess what we could do is just unload whilst driving in the crop. Not ideal. Doesn't look good. It will work um, if we have crop destruction on. Do we have crop destruction on? I'm not too sure. No, we don't. Okay. Yeah, so we'll just do this. I'll try and avoid doing this again in the future. It's got a pretty decent unload rate as well, so we can get it emptied in a very, very short space of time. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have said that. No, there we go. Good. Right, so we are now 50% full, exactly half full, that's great. Uh, that's two combine loads, potentially a bit more if we were unloading on the move, but yeah, it wasn't totally full that time. Probably exactly two combine loads. And we'll get this one spun round and put alongside the other one. So, yeah, let's go and get it empty. Because as soon as it's empty, we can just move on to these next two fields, two wheat fields. And that'll just be all good for the big trailer. Because it will have likely been emptied by then. And I'm guessing it's all going to be going to the train, which is over there. Because uh, that usually is the best place. Usually the best price. Right, there we go. Good. 
Mm, I must have the uh, flight mode on, yep. I found when that is enabled you can't actually get into the vehicle, so you have to turn it off again to be able to enter them. You can tab, but you can't just walk up to them and press E. Okay, there we go. Good. And this is a bit of a funny field actually, because it really should be done going down and up. I'm going across currently. Um, but yeah, at the bottom we have all those obstacles. For me it's fine, but for a worker it's not ideal. So I think we'll just go around the headland and not have to decide which way to do it. We probably will go up and down, but we'll see. And obviously that field there is absolutely dead easy. Nothing in the way anywhere, so that will be nice and fast and trouble free. Let's start the next time lapse. Yeah, so Erlingrat is the best place for the oats. Let's just take a look and see what's happening over here. Ah, it's coming back up again, and it's 66% full, so it should hopefully be able to make it back down again. Um, but we'll just get over to the train silo. Somewhere over here. And I will unload. We'll probably teleport back to the other combine from the silo. That'd be the best thing to do. Okay, there we go. And can't wait around forever, so we'll indeed teleport back. Good timing, very good timing. That is perfect. And really, actually, it's almost finished the field. This, this should all fit in, hopefully. keep that going but it's just one of those series which is uh, it's progressed but it's not it's not super special it's funny when you start a series you really don't know how it's going to pan out I had no idea that the Obelu series would do so well I didn't know I'd be so addicted to it it was so good uh, this one is good as I said but it's just not as we play but I guess it's because we are not really using new features there are no new features because it's just a new map and a couple of new crops, or three new crop types, but they all involve the same harvester. Okay. Yeah, so I could set this off on a worker, but I won't do because it's going to be on the wrong side. So uh, I don't even know if we need to take this back. We'll put it there. Because I'm pretty sure it's, what, yeah, it's almost finished. I might as well just do this myself. Let's just finish the sunflowers and then we can go and empty the big trailer. Then we can uh, empty the combine over there and really get things going. I think it will. I'm usually wrong, but I think it probably will. Uh, it's going to be close. What should we say? 95% full? Wow. It's my lucky day. It was 95% full. Okay, so let's get to the cell point, uh, which I'm guessing is also the train. Uh, what am I looking at? Uh, yeah, the train is the best place, so that's good. Obviously we could just put a different header on the class combine, which we might do. We probably will do, actually. And then we can have two going. But let's just empty this. That is just phenomenal that we actually managed to get it to almost full. I think we're tipping out the back, not the little grain door. 
Yeah, good, that would take forever. Oh, there's a pipe above us. Well, not to worry. We could have actually changed that to the walking floor mode. It is, of course, the three-in-one. But no, I have uh, neglected that uh, uh, functionality. So, uh, yeah, I've just destroyed their pipe. Yeah, so this combine can do this field. I will do the other field with the class. Get that unloaded. Just go into least items, return the sunflower header, and we will go into harvesters again, combinations, and yeah, that one there. Hopefully we can get into the field without having a header trailer. Always a concern. Uh, it's almost done. Yeah, almost done. And we will try and go up and down the field because it is more efficient that way. Okay. So, let's put that big pipe in. And thankfully the store is right here. And there's even a direct back entrance to the store from this field. I do like these class combines, they're very nice. Right, okay. Uh, watch the trailer. And we can get through to this field. Yes, this field is basically just dead easy in every way. It's long, it's straight, and it's easy. And there's a lorry parked in it, but we'll of course move that. I just need to make sure the uh, New Holland manages to keep going without messing it up. I don't know which combine will be finished first. I guess we're pretty much covering the same sort of ground. But I will have to keep leaving off, but I can put it onto a worker whilst we unload, so that shouldn't really impact our time at all. So yeah, let's go for it. Up and down the field quite a few times. Well, that has obviously been a huge success. It's still going over there, but yeah, so fast. Amazingly fast. And we've only actually had this combine going for 0.3 hours. Quite incredible. Which means we don't have to incur any more fees. Right, so yeah, we'll stick with the lorry. We'll make sure we're there for the other one. Probably can finish anyway without unloading, but we'll have to see. How is it doing? Is it on its final pass? It pretty much is. Ah, oh, it's just left a strip. Okay, well we can do that strip. And it does have a big enough tank to do this. So, off we go. It's not like we have to be really careful here, because we've got, well, that to get on the next pass. So I could just pull out over here. That's fine. 
not really a 50-50 split, but anyway, that's good enough. I have just realised actually we have field number 49 as well, so I better, I better get that going with this combine. Yeah, we don't want to miss any. Drive through the ditch. And who knows, maybe I can actually have both the combines going in this field. Get it done super quickly. We will, of course, still use the red trailer. And yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I will, um, I'll take over from this one again. No, I've missed a piece. Well, it was worth going back for those two litres. Every litre counts. Finished. So we'll just empty that. And then we'll go over there. Set it off on a worker while I unload the wheat. It's going to be very important. And yeah, then we'll be... We're pretty much done. We're not going to sell anything, by the way. We're going to keep everything, all the machinery and all the sheds. We're just going to sell grain. Because who knows? We we might come back to this, or we might do it in a multiplayer video or something. So we'll keep the save game. So we can potentially return in the future. Go. 35%, which is still extreme. That's almost 21,000 litres. Here's the train, but we're not ready for it, sadly. So we'll just have to wait for it to come around again. Which it does fairly frequently anyway, so we should be fine. They're gonna clash! No! We shall take over. So we don't have a clash. We'll go close. We had a clash. That worked well. Okay. <laughs> oh. Well, uh, it doesn't matter, there's no, there's no damage on this. Fastest harvest ever, that. Two big combines in one tiny field. Got a few little bits to go for. Okay. There we go. Right, we'll put the auger out and we'll put all of this into the trailer. Looks like that one is... Is he going to try and get that? It's going to try to, isn't it? Very good. It's going to try and fail. Yeah, well, we'll just do that ourselves. Yeah, so we can return the combines. Uh, I think the class one is totally empty. Yeah, it hasn't just stopped for some reason. We'll do the header. And this one is not quite empty, but we can return the header. And that's it done. Right, okay. Perfect. So again, not much, but at least it's a crop that we already have over at the cell point, so we can just add it to it. And then we'll be selling our three different types. Wheat, oats, and sunflowers. I really shouldn't drive to the ditches like that. Now we can request the train. No doubt it's a long way away. Where is the request stop? Right, there. Uh, oh, it's close. 350 meters away, is it? 
200. Oh, there it is. Well, that timing was very good. It couldn't really have been much better. So, yeah, the first one is going to have one of the crop types. They're all the same capacity, I think, so we can just put them in any. Uh, wheat, wow, 71,978 litres of wheat. Very, very good. Yes, we're going to make some serious money here. Which makes a nice change. Right, so that's 79% full. We can move to the next one, which is this one here, already open. And we'll put in here oats. And the third one, which I've now lost vision of, uh, oh, that's for logs or something. There is one, isn't there? The back one. Yeah, the back one. Oh no, I'm pressing the wrong button. No, I'm accelerating when I shouldn't be. Whoops. But yeah, the back one, which is that one there. <laughs> Uh, that one can indeed be sunflowers. There's quite a few sunflowers. And it's a good job we don't have four different crops to sell, because I don't think we actually have enough uh, trucks to do that. No. So it's just right. This is going to be so good. I think... Possibly the first two will get combined because they're right next to each other, but the back one obviously is separated by the logging trailer or logging uh, truck, so we might get a split figure, but it doesn't really matter. I think all we need to really care about is that we're currently on 75,000, so if we finish on 300 and something thousand or 400 and something thousand, we know we've done well. Probably, probably three something, but yeah, I'm usually optimistic. I'd be really happy with three something. Yeah, it did it all in one. And we did indeed finish with three something. 351,000. Very good. 275 from what we just sold. So what a fantastic ending to the series. I know not a very big series. We started in November but still a, a pretty good series nonetheless. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. We'll be starting something new next time. And until then, see you again very, very soon. Bye for now.